What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Wondershare's Dr. Phone Password Manager in order to get the passwords stored on your iOS device for various accounts. You probably know that there is a feature on Safari that allows you to save the passwords for various accounts when you sign into them inside Safari. So you can store them for later and of course use them on Safari. But did you know that you can actually grab those on your computer directly from your phone? Dr. Phone Password Manager allows you to do that. You can recover the screen time passcode, you can recover Wi-Fi passwords, or even recover stored website and app login passwords, or even credit cards if you do have them saved in there. There is a free trial available for the application and it's actually quite great because depending on what you have on your device, you can recover the email accounts, the Amazon account, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. You can even get your Wi-Fi password or the Wi-Fi password of various hotspots you connected to. So you can export your iOS passwords to iPassword, to LastPass, to Chrome, Dashlane, Keeper and so on. So it's fully integrated. So let's see it in action. Now you should know that this program works with iOS 15 and lower. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. It's part of the Dr. Phone full toolkit which is actually quite big. If you take a look in here the Dr. Phone version 12 which I am currently reviewing has a ton of modules in here. You have the data recovery if you want to recover data from your phone, you have the phone manager if you want to transfer data between your phone and your computer, you have the WhatsApp transfer if you're interested particularly in transferring WhatsApp conversations or WhatsApp for business or Line, Kick, Viber, WeChat and so on. Then you have the brand new product password manager which recovers passwords from iOS devices and of course this is the one we review today. But then you have screen lock which removes the phone lock screen or Apple ID, system repair which can fix iOS devices that are broken, iOS devices that are no longer booted because of software issues, phone transfer which can copy all the data from one phone to another, phone backup and so on. You even have Mirror Go which can mirror your phone to your PC if you want to do a presentation or something. Virtual location which is basically a GPS location spoofer, very useful if you want to play games that require moving and so on or if you want to trick your friends or if you want to spoof the location in your pictures and even a data eraser if you want to erase safely the data on your devices. We're going to take a look at the password manager though so I'm going to open it in here. I already already have it downloaded and when you open it it's actually quite simple to use. In fact it's been made to be very easy to use for people who are not tech savvy, who do not know how to use command lines or how to use various tools. You have all of them in one. That was the purpose of the Dr. Phone toolkit in here to have everything including password managers, system repair and phone manager and data recovery and you know screen password and data eraser and so on in one single big tool so that you don't have to mess around with multiple tools and you have to install them, keep them updated and so on. This way you only have to keep updated one tool and you only need one single tool. So as you can see the graphical user interface is made to be pretty simple to use. It tells us in here that we need to connect the device to the computer via the USB cable. So I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna take the USB cable and plug in my iPod. And as you can hear, the computer has indeed connected to the phone and there you go. So it has been detected iPod Touch and it's the iPod Touch 7. Now the iPod Touch 7 is currently the latest iPod available from Apple, released in 2019 if I'm not mistaken. And uh, as you can see it's compatible with this. It actually runs iOS 15.1 to my knowledge and this is indeed compatible. So once you have connected your device, no matter what device you have, you press start scanning here. Now it says in here that for devices running iOS 13 and later, the system needs to set a backup password to find the password data. Yes, that is a limitation from iOS. You cannot get the passwords if the backup you're creating to the computer is not encrypted in itself. So the program will actually create an encrypted backup. It says in here that the program will set a temporary password, password A, to obtain the data. This password will be removed after the scan is complete. Do you want to start scanning data? And we press OK. Now you're going to see something like this. It says please enter the iTunes backup password first. Skipping this process may cause find your password failed. So I'm going to say a in here, just small letter A, and I'm gonna press OK. And as you can see it says scanning, please keep your phone connected. So yeah, the scanning can take from a couple of minutes to like many minutes, like 10 minutes or so, depending on how much data you have on your device. The more data you have, the more it's gonna take to find it. But once it completes the scanning, every single password stored on the device should be revealed, including your wireless password. So this can be pretty useful if you have an account that you've signed in on the phone in Safari some time ago, but you no longer remember the credentials and you don't have them stored anywhere else. If you did save them on the phone when Safari gave you the option, which is basically every time you log in to a brand new account, then you should be pretty good to go in this case. So you can see that it takes a little bit of time but it's not a problem. Now as you can see, this is the result. It says that it found one 
Wi-Fi password, which is correct. I only have connected to my office Wi-Fi here, which is Comcast Network, and that is indeed the password. But then we have websites and applications. And as you can see, there are a plethora of applications in here. In fact, websites. So we have an Apple ID in here with the account and the password. You can see them in plain text. And we have Gmail in here, an email account, iHola.com, Kayula.com, Reddit, and even a Twitter account. Now, what you see in here, those weirdly looking passwords, those are passwords generated by the password manager on Safari or on iOS. There's an option on iOS 15 to generate a secure password. And of course, this kind of passwords are actually quite secure if you use them. They're pretty hard to crack, but they're very hard to remember. And in fact, I did forget all of them. So you can see they have been found. All right, so we press export in here and it says, please select data to be exported. So I'm going to only select the websites in here because I don't need my Wi-Fi account. And I'm gonna press export and that's basically it. It says verifying in there and as you can and see the process has begun. So we get asked how we want to get the data exported. CSV for Chrome, CSV file for one password, for Dashlane, LastPass or Keeper, or even CSV file for Dr. Phone Backup if you want to restore it later to the phone. I'm going to select Chrome in here and I'm going to get the CSV file. And as you can see, we got it in there. And that's basically it. You can of course export it in multiple formats. So I can do CSV file for backup and so on. I can even do Dashlane as well and LastPass and whatever. So you can select all of them if that's what you need. But after that, you're basically good to go. So that's how you get the password. If you actually open the CSV file with Notepad, you can see exactly the structure. It has name, URL, username, and password. You have reddit.com, reddit.com, the username, and of course the password itself over here. But you can also import them in Chrome and other applications. So definitely check out the Dr. Phone Password Manager. It's available on their website here on drphone.wondershare.com. And the password manager for iOS is available as a free trial if you want to check it out for Windows in here. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am GS Now. Check the program out in the link below and peace out.